Tamika Hall here from Tamika Inc. Here with another little quick book uh, publishing and marketing lesson with you. We got Travis Green in the background because God is intentional, isn't he? Aren't you happy that you serve an intentional God? I know that I am. That's coming from my station, I Worship 96 FM Radio. You can find more amazing music, really great DJs in the morning by going to iWorship96.com. I'm going to turn that down. Okay. So, I'm happy to be back here with you. Oh my goodness, this weekend was a whirlwind. I gotta give a special shout out to my girl, Elder Latanya Pierce. Um, Tamika Inc., we had an opportunity to design the book, to um, design the cover, the interior, all of that amazing stuff. And I got my signed copy on Saturday. So shout out Elder Latanya Pierce. I am so proud of you and excited for you. Let me go ahead and put this up here so everybody can see your book. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. So we're talking today about... Five lessons that I learned from my publicist. Now, these are some of my book marketing secrets that, honestly, I, I, I didn't expect to learn these over the years. But I promise you, my last, I think, five books became bestsellers within hours of their release. And it's all because I've implemented some of these things. Now, I know some of you guys are looking for me to give you information like this is where you need to go this is how you need to push your book and all of that stuff but I'm gonna give you something that's gonna really help you build your author platform and like I said these are secrets that I have learned directly from my publicist it's from watching her and um, just things that I picked up from her over the years and I'm talking about Latanya Boyd I promise you she has no idea I'm doing this but when I'm thinking about what I, what message I wanted to bring to you today I said, you know what, everybody's writing books, hopefully, and hopefully you're coming to Tamika Inc., but I know one of the biggest lessons is, um, one of the biggest questions I have from a lot of authors is, okay, Tamika, the book's done, what do I do to push the book? And I'm going to tell you, pushing the book starts way before you ever even release it. The moment that you know you want to write a book, start thinking about these five things. So again, this is I'm talking about Latanya Boyd from Faith the Believer Virtual Tours. She's just amazing. I love her. You can find her by going to www.latboyd.com. For those who have never um, seen me before, I'm Tamika Hall. I'm the founder and chief designer of Tamika Inc. And we work primarily with faith-based authors, um, recording artists. And uh, but like I said, most of the time we, we work with authors. And so it's just, I have the coolest job on the planet. Yes, I do. Okay, so let's talk about this. Five lessons that I learned from my publicist. And I'm telling you, I'm live right now, so if you want to ask me a question, this is the time to get the answers for me, okay? Because then I'm not, like, thinking about what I'm saying. I'm just going to give you what you want to know. So, okay, Latanya Boyd, back in 2014, wrote this book. i got to get my thinking pen. She wrote this book called People Eat With Their Eyes. And um, I, was, I was really honored to be able to... Um, design this book this book over the last two years it has stayed on the bestsellers list on Amazon okay and what it is it's a book that teaches you how to create an effective book trailer okay so the first lesson that I've learned from Latanya Boyd is just that people eat with their eyes and I'm gonna tell you that's one of the favorite things that she says is that people eat with their eyes right so what does that come down to it comes down to these two top things I think it comes down to being polished it comes down to being professional. Now, you got to get the book. She gives you a breakdown on exactly how to, um, you know, structure your, your book trailer, where, like where to design it, how to send it out, and all of that stuff. But in terms of us as authors, it, I really believe it comes down to us being polished and professional. When I first met Latanya, I met her because she initially came to me about um, another author of hers, and she wanted the author to be on the radio show. Latanya was so polished, she was so professional, and I love, and I'm telling you, I, I, I get contacted all the time by publicists, and half the time they get on my nerves, <laughs> to be honest, because they don't have their stuff together, but Latanya had her stuff together. She was so polished, so professional, I went to her and said, listen, I need help, I've got all this stuff, everybody says I got a brand, I don't know what I'm doing, and I need help help and so I initially went to her because she was just so much on her game so when I'm talking about being polished 
in everything that we do, you got to be professional. It is so paramount to be polished and professional. So always think about your image. That's really important. Now, these are things that you can be building on before your book even comes out. So you always want to think about your image before you post on social media, that picture that you want to post, the post that you want to post, the, the post that you want to share. Like, are, if you're, if you're um, a faith-based author, is it really smart to share things? Because you got to pay attention. A lot of these videos, the people that have shared them onto their Facebook or even their Instagram or what have you, a lot of times they have a lot of profanity in there. And the moment that you, the moment that you share it, it's almost like you're endorsing what's being said. So before you send that picture or you hit send on that post or the rant, you know, I, I cringe every time I see people talk about their, their horrible life that they're having at the moment. Listen, people don't want to see that. They just don't. If you want prayer, put it out there. Say, listen, y'all, I need prayer. My dog every single afternoon wants to bark. I'm so sorry. Come here. Sit down, Diamond. I just think she wants attention. So anyway, <laughs> you got to think about what it is that you want people to know you for. So if, if, they, if they on one hand and see you talk the goodness of God, and then five minutes later, you're sharing something with a bunch of explicatives in it, that's not the best image for you. It's not polished, and it's not professional. Also, when it, when it comes to being professional, you need to be timely in all of your, in, in everything that you send. So let's say you get booked to do a radio show, or your book to be in a magazine. When the publisher or the radio host asks you for information, if you're working with a, a book publisher, if you're working with me, you're working with a designer, or you're working with a publicist, if they ask you for something, you gotta send that in, in time. Be timely about it. If you waste time, you're missing an opportunity. That's a lesson by itself. Wasting time, it, it, it equates to you missing an opportunity. So again, be professional in all things. The second biggest lesson that I learned really from watching Latanya, it's not even something, anything that she said, but she does this. We are blessed when we are a blessing, okay? And I know somebody's like, oh, she's being really super deep today. No, I'm not being deep. I'm being for real. We're blessed when we are a blessing. You know, the world mentality teaches us that when you are promoting a book or you're promoting a song or whatever it is that you're doing, <clears throat> that you need to only focus on yourself. Uh, you know, when it comes to social media, you never share anything that somebody else is doing. You know, you never give people accolades. Or I see this a lot, and I'm not saying anything about anybody in particular, but a lot. I will have people that will come to me and ask me to design stuff, and they blow up their poster or they blow up their book, but they never ever say, shout out to Tamika Inc. I'm not saying that for you to do that. I'm just saying that never happens. Uh, or a lot of times that does not happen. And so people are taking credit for work that they didn't do, or they don't share what other people are doing. And honestly, it makes it, it makes it seem like you're all about you. Again, that's not a plug for me to say, hey, everybody that I've ever done work for, put it out there that Tamika Inc. did it. No, that's that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you are blessed when you're a blessing. So when you're on social media, if you see something that's interesting, why not share it? It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't cost you any money to do that. It doesn't take money out of your pocket. Because listen, if a person is going to purchase a product that you have, they will purchase whether you share somebody else's stuff or not. So if somebody is putting something out there that you think is really great information for your tribe, the people that follow you on social media, then why not do that, right? That's really important. Also, um, I, what I do, as, as, as just a rule of thumb, I take maybe 10 or 15 minutes a day because I'm always very busy. So I'm sure all of you are busy too. And I usually take maybe 10 or 15 minutes a day to kind of just scroll through what's going on. Sometimes I just need a mental break. And so I'll just kind of scroll through what's happening on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And I'll retweet something I think is really good. If it hits home, I'll retweet it or I'll share it on Facebook or what have you. Um, I make sure to comment on things that people are doing. I make sure that I am social. So that's important. Remember, you're blessed when you're a blessing. You know, when you drop seeds, they grow. And it, it, it really just happens that way. Number three, you build business by building relationships. One of the things I find that a lot of authors and artists, um, they don't look at what they're doing 
as a business. Even though we're in ministry, we're in a we're in a business of ministry. What's beautiful about being a worshipreneur is that God has given us gifts and talents that gives us the ability to impact the kingdom and to explode in the marketplace. I mean, what a way to share Christ, but to take the gifts that he gave you and to let the world know about that, right? So you build business by building relationships. It's all about relationships. You know, a lot of times people think that they got to go to, um, you know, the biggest producer or they have to go to the biggest and most expensive songwriter or, um, you know, in book publishing, they got to go to the publishing company that costs the most amount of money because for whatever reason, they feel like that is the best thing to do. Listen, if that's what you want to do, I'm not knocking that at all. But what I'm saying is when you build relationships, it will... Um, inadvertently build your business because the more you'll connect with people who know more than you do and the both of you are able to build each other up also when you build relationships you send people to each other right so a lot of times I have a lot of authors that we've been connected and one of the I tell people all the time because I do have people that are like Tamika how is it that you're you're working full-time in your business it's because I treat my authors well and they tell other people right and then I enter I'm telling everybody about their book I don't just I don't just design for them and then that's it no we establish a relationship and I genuinely love everybody that comes to me so build your business by building relationships remember you don't ever want to burn a bridge that you might have to cross over later it doesn't mean that at times that we don't say you know what this relationship is not for me anymore that's fine but always end things off on a good note remember we got to be Christ-like right so build business by building relationships number five number four provide value any content that you put out um, so I think it's fun to put out fluff stuff like you know there are times I will share a picture of me and my girls or my boys and we're doing something crazy you know or I'm acting crazy because sometimes it's just fun for people to see me in my natural state <laughs> which my personality is over the top right so it's good for people to see that sometimes but I also like to share a lot of things with value so for example I'm doing a Facebook live and I'm sharing information that I know that has helped me to make the last five or six books or more a bestseller I mean within hours I mean I'm talking about like two three hours they have hit like number one two and three on the bestsellers list okay and it's because of these nuggets right here so provide value if you're going to share something, make sure that it makes that it makes sense. Even if it's funny, is it a good laugh? Is it a clean laugh? Because again, we're if we're faith based, why are we sharing anything that's vulgar? If you want to do that, I would suggest doing it in private so that everybody doesn't see that you're doing that. Okay. And then the fifth thing, drop seeds and allow God to grow them. Yeah, drop seeds and allow God to do it. A lot of times we do things because we expect that people are going to do things for us in return. And I have come to learn that I am the most disappointed when I expect that because I've helped someone that they're in turn going to do that for me. I mean, I have gotten my feelings crushed. My heart has been broken because people that I have literally stepped out on a limb for or I've given them a lot of information when it came time for what I felt was their time to reciprocate and they didn't do it. It hurt my feelings. So what I've come to learn is drop your seeds and let God grow them. Nothing is going to blossom unless it's in God's time anyway. And I'm telling you something, I don't want anything that God does not want for me. Because the moment that you get something that God doesn't want for you, it's going to fail. Even if it seems like it's, it's blooming at the moment, it will ultimately fail. It will be disastrous if God does not breathe on that. So any seeds that you're dropping, when you share somebody else's stuff, you know, if, if there's an artist out there, you like what they've done and you share it. If somebody's written a book and you share it, share it because you genuinely want to share it. If you do not genuinely want to share stuff, then don't do it, right? Because I share stuff all the time and then I forget that I shared something until later, you know, somebody will say to me, you know, thank you for always being supportive. And there have been times where I'm like, what did I do? You know? And so sometimes I have to think about it, but I do things because I genuinely just want to share something that somebody's doing. My puppy here. I'm sorry. Also, when it comes to that, um, actually, I think I've hit everything. Yeah. Because if, if you're doing everything else, okay, let me, let me just go ahead and recap real fast. People eat with their eyes. If you are pulling, putting out polished and professional work, if your pictures are professional and polished, again, honey, let me tell you, on Saturday, I had an amazing photo shoot with BTN Photos. That's bring, it, bring the noise 
photography in Milford, Delaware. It was amazing. Terry is amazing, okay? He's a really great photographer. But I had to do that because I was like, yo, my pictures are so dated. I need some really good pictures, okay? So I make sure that your pictures look like you, but that they are fabulous, darling. Don't be putting out all those selfies if you can help it. Secondly, we're blessed when we are a blessing. When we bless other people, it's, all, it's just going to come back to you. Whether it's from that person or God sends you 10 other people, you will be blessed simply because you've been a blessing. Also, you build business by building relationships. You're going to find you'll build relationships with people. It doesn't mean that you're not going to pay them. But I, some of my, my best friends now are people that I pay. You know, I have, you know, producers that I paid to do work for, my, for me with my music or musicians, background singers that I work with. And yes, I compensate them. A man is worthy of his hire, right? I want professional stuff. I want the best. So if I ask for Aurelius Palmer, <laughs> look, I just, I just threw his name out there. If I ask for like Aurelius Palmer or I ask for Keisha Smith, I ask for A. Jermaine, I ask for Terkeesa Harris, that's my producer, my manager. If I ask for those people, I want to make sure that they're compensated because I want the best, okay? So build relationships by build business by building relationships. That means if 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 somebody if you go to somebody and say, hey, listen, I need you to do something, they give you a price for it. Honestly, when you build a relationship, sometimes they don't charge you as much as they charge everybody else. But what you gotta do is make sure that you are timely in paying them. Ah, okay? Make sure that you do that. And, and also when it comes to building a relationship, the people that are in your tribe and that follow you on social media, they become your community. And really you build relationships with them that you don't even know about. So it's about being tangible. It's about making, hi, hi there auntie. It's about making people feel like they can touch you without really touching you. So it's, it's so important to build business by building relationships. Also provide value. The more value you provide, the more people are going to expect that you're an expert. People are going to come to your page. People will come to your Instagram profile if you're always putting out an encouraging word. You know, if that's what they're looking for. What you put out is what you're going to attract. You're going to attract people who are putting out what you're putting out. And finally, drop your seeds and let God grow them. You absolutely want God to do that. Um, and like I said, clearly there are other things that you can do to sell your books, but I'm telling you because I do this every, every, Yes, every single syllable. And because I do this every single day, when I put out a book, people share it. Like my most recent book that came out, I, I was so shocked. I mean, like it was shared like 60 times. It was insane to me. I didn't even realize that people cared about what I did that much. But I put out something that everybody wanted. And because I really care about what I share for people, and I'm not just throwing out anything, it really made a difference. So listen, if this has been good for you, share this. Yes. Hey, Diamond. Share this with somebody that could use this information. Listen, you know I'm going to come back maybe either tonight or tomorrow. So this is Tamika Hall. Visit me, www.tamikainc.com. If you want a book marketing coach, go to www.latboy.com. You guys have a blessed day.